calendar. The last time we were here was Tuesday, and then you I did the calendar at her house on Wednesday. What day comes after Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. So we're gonna take Tuesday off and put Thursday on. So that would have been the ninth, then the tenth, then what comes after ten? Eleven. 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 It's a one and a one. What month are we in? June. June. And what is the year? 2020 vision. 2020. It's still sunny out, but it's starting to get a bit cold. That's why we've got all of our cool beanies on because we are in winter. Yes, and it is winter. All right, guys, we are going to learn about bearded dragons today. So we made some bearded dragons and we're gonna show you how to make them at home. And Julian from Wild Ones is gonna show you guys about his bearded dragon that he has. What are bearded dragons, guys? Are they mammals or are they reptiles? Reptiles. Reptiles, and reptiles are cold blooded and they're covered in scales. scales. Okay, so let's go have a look. Hey, hi everybody. We are going to be making some lizards today because sometimes people have lizards as pets so some of the stuff you're going to need is some green paint black paint white paint some paint brushes some toilet rolls some paper and then the first thing talon is going to do is she's going to paint her paper so talon is painting the paper green this is going to be for the lizard's head and maybe for his tail. Okay, we are going to start painting our toilet roll green. So you can go ahead and start painting. Okay guys, we're going to draw some bearded dragon heads. So he has kind of a triangular nose. And he has that crazy bearded stuff that sticks up on the sides of his head. Then he's got his nostrils at the end. And the eyes. And the little nose that's straight. Then we're gonna draw another one because we have to make three. So there's our bearded dragon heads. Then what you're going to do is you're going to draw tails. Okay, so we're ready to cut out. So Talon's going to start cutting. Now we've got the head and the tail cut out, and then we're going to sort out some legs. How many legs does a lizard have? Four. Four. So we're going to do four. One, two, three, four. Ah, so we have four legs. All right, so we've got all of our pieces ready to glue to our toilet roll. Our toilet roll is going to lay down flat because lizards lay down flat on their bellies. So Talon's going to go ahead and glue it. There, so there's our bearded dragon. Bearded
Is that a lizard? Yes. Show us. Show the camera. Put it, put it down so we can see it. Snap, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Hi boys and girls, moms, dads, family, friends and all my supporters out there. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, sorry I've been really really busy. But here I am back in action. Boys and girls, moms and dads, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a better dragon. Okay, as you guys all know, better dragons are very very popular in the pet trade. A lot of people love better dragons as pets, they make phenomenal pets. Okay, let me show you. One of my beauties over here. Okay, this little guy's name is Styx. There you go. And I actually adopted Styx in from somebody they couldn't keep anymore. Okay. There you go. So, boys and girls, moms and dads, better dragons like to eat fruits and vegetables. And at the same time, they love to eat insects. Like superworms, mealworms, crickets, cockroaches, all of that type of thing. So... What happens with your beta dragons are what we call omnivores so meaning they are a lot like us they like to eat a bit of both so fruits and veg and at the same time insects and that which is a protein source okay now with beta dragons they they do require uv okay so what happens is if ever you want to keep one as a pet okay you've got to remember to always have a source of uv so you can buy a uv light and that's what helps your better dragons absorb their calcium in their body. So it's very important. They do need calcium. But at the same time, calcium without the UV light won't work, okay? You've got to have both. So very important. You've got to have UV globe or you can make a nice outside enclosure where you can keep them in during the day. They soak up all the rays and from there, they can absorb the calcium in their body. Okay, so... They are part of the, the reptile family. So remember, as discussed before, they've got no way to keep or maintain their body temperature. So they do rely on the sun and the environment around them. There you go, nice close-up of the better dragon. Okay, you don't need to worry too much about their sparks. You can see, there you go, it likes a nice head rub. There you go. These sparks are very, very soft. So that's obviously part of their defense. They chase away a lot of their predators and that's because the predator will look at them and say sure i don't want to play around with a better dragon okay because of all these spikes they do look scary okay a lot of children have asked me what are those huge holes okay that's basically their ears so they they don't really hear what like like we do they pick up all the vibrations in the noise and that and that's what they hear okay so with me talking now Sticks over here can pick up all the vibrations from my voice. Okay, so it's quite amazing. All right. So they do eat a lot. They eat continuous the whole time, especially the fruit and veg. They love eating fruit and veg. So you've got to grate up fruit and veg very, very finely for them. From there, sprinkle on your calcium. And then you give them a few bugs every day. And then they're happy. They're very happy. Okay. There you go. So I'm going to put sticks back over here. I'll, I'll see if Styx would like to eat a worm. We'll try it, okay? I've got some super worms over here. There you go. There you go. Nope, Styx is not interested. Come, Styx. Come on. Okay, so boys and girls, I've got some dry meal worms over here. And then I've got some calcium powder. So it's just to show you what I do feed feed my beardies. They enjoy the dry worms. And at the same time, I do feed the live worms as well. And then this is your calcium powder that you dust their food with on a daily basis. And that's what they eat, all right? Okay. Show you what the super worms look like. I normally buy them in a tub like this. And then I get quite a lot of worms in there. Okay, so these are your bigger worms, much bigger than your meal worms. Okay, they're very high in calcium. But you also got to be careful with your worms not to overfeed because they're very high in fat as well. So you got to feed a few a day and then your fruits and veg. Very, very important for your beardies. Okay. Now, boys and girls, with your bearded dragons, 
Okay, now in the winter time, they do slow down a lot with the eating. They don't really go into what we call hibernation. They go into more a brumation phase. So they slow down with the eating. And they slow down with their movements, but they're not quite in hibernation. So they still are active. They still eat every now and then, but not as much as they do in the summertime. So heating was very, very good to have a heat pad or, or even heat globes in there. With then obviously a UV globe and they can bask and they soak up all that heat in their body. From there, then they're still active and they still eat. All right. Okay. So boys and girls with better dragons, they originate from Australia. Okay. So Australia's climate conditions of, is very, very similar to South Africa. So your better dragons do do very, very well here in South Africa. Even if they had to get out of the enclosure, they would survive perfectly fine here in our natural um, conditions here in South Africa because it's very, very, very similar. Heat wise, cold wise, all of that. All right. Sure. So let me show you what sticks looks like again. Okay, you can see very, very fast. Okay. They are very, very fast. And at the same time, they like to sit on your shirt. Okay. So I see a lot of people go to shops, they go out with their better dragons. Okay, remember I said they make amazing pets. Okay. So yeah, you can take them with you to shops. They become extremely tame. You can see they love a nice head rub. There you go. Okay, with their skin, it's very different to a snake skin. Okay, their skin is quite rough. It feels almost like sandpaper. Okay, I can't describe the way they feel. Okay, they're very, very rough. All right. And they also love to have a nice swim. So if you have a swimming pool in the summertime, you can let them have a nice swim. They're very, very good swimmers. Okay. They enjoy swimming. And they also love basking in the sun. Okay. So there you go, boys and girls. If ever you want to get a pet bearded dragon, just remember what I explained now in the video about what they need to eat and all of that. Obviously, fresh water, very, very important to them as well. And they also do shed their skin. What happens, their skin doesn't come off fully like a snake. It breaks off in pieces. And they actually, a lot of the time, they eat their skin. So you'd never really ever find their sheddings. It's quite amazing. All right. So boys and girls, remember when you're done touching and holding your better dragons or any other pet for that matter, remember to always wash your hands and keep your hands clean, okay? With your better dragons, they are known to carry a type of food poisoning, all right? Which is what we call salmonella. So it's extremely important to wash your hands after touching and, and holding your better dragon, all right? Okay, boys and girls, I hope you guys all enjoyed the show today. Thank you very much. Remember, stay at home, stay safe. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, we hope you loved learning about the reptiles. And you know what you can do at home to pretend that you're a reptile? We're very cold because it's winter, so you can climb out to a nice sunny spot and lay in a sunny spot like a lizard or a reptile and try and warm yourself up. You guys must have a wonderful day. Bye! Bye! Bye.